Okay, so once again, we've been told that Rod 1 is not able to ping Rod 3. If we have a look at the IP routing table, we can see that a gateway of last resort is not set. We can see that we've learnt a route via OSPF. That's the loopback of router 2. So can we ping the loopback of router 2? Yes, we can. So we can ping router 2, but we don't seem to have this network or this network in the IP routing table. So as an example, we can't ping this IP address on router 2 because we haven't learnt about that route. Which routing protocols are we running? We've got OSPF running on the router. Router ID is this. We're using OSPF process 1. We're routing for these networks and we've got this gateway. But once again, because we've learnt this network through OSPF and the fact that we can ping that network shows us that OSPF is working properly on this link. So as an example, show IP OSPF neighbor shows us that we have a neighbor relationship to this router 10112. So it doesn't look like the problem is on router one. If we have a look at the OSPF database, we can see that we only know about two routers in the OSPF database we don't know about router 3. So let's look at router 2 and see if we can find out if there's a problem on router 2. So show IP route. Okay, so router 2 knows about the loopback of router 1, but it also knows about the loopback of router 3. But this route has been learnt through EIGRP. Notice the D, meaning EIGRP. So router one has learnt about this network through OSPF, but it's learnt about this network through EIGRP. So that means that we must be running redistribution on router two if router one is going to learn about router three's networks. So as an example, on router one, we haven't learnt about this network or this network. So on router 2, show IP OSPF database, we only have these networks in the OSPF database. We don't see this network or this network in the OSPF database. Show IP OSPF interface brief shows us that OSPF is only running on the loopback and gigabit 00. That means that EIGRP should be redistributed into OSPF if the OSPF routing process is going to learn about this network and this network. So let's look at EIGRP, show IP EIGRP interfaces. We can see that EIGRP is enabled on this interface. Show IP EIGRP topology. We can see that EIGRP has this route in the topology database, this route, this route, this route, and this route. So in other words, it looks like OSPF routes are being redistributed into EIGRP, but EIGRP routes are not being redistributed into OSPF. And I know that because EIGRP knows about all of the networks, but OSPF doesn't. We can verify that and prove that by looking at the routing table of router 3, Notice router 3 is learning about the loopback of router 1. It's learnt that through EIGRP, but it's an external EIGRP route. Notice the administrative distance is 170. It's not 90. In other words, this route has been learnt via redistribution. Those routes are in the EIGRP database. They're shown in the routing table. So as an example, if we trace to 1.1.1.1, the traffic is sent to router 2, but then we don't get a reply. But on router 1, if we used the command debug IP ICMP and then pinged quadruple 1, does the traffic get to router 1? Yes, it does. So debug IP ICMP shows us that the traffic gets to router 1 
from the source, but it can't get back again. So it looks like there's a problem on router two where EIGRP routes are not redistributed into OSPF, but OSPF routes are redistributed into EIGRP. So now that we've done those show commands, let's have a look at the configuration. Here's EIGRP. OSPF is being redistributed into EIGRP. Here's OSPF. EIGRP is being redistributed into OSPF. So why are the routes not being redistributed into OSPF? Notice we've got a route map here. And if we look at the route map, can you see the problem? We've got two entries in the route map. This entry is a deny statement. So any routes that match that route map entry will not be redistributed into OSPF. Notice deny. This is matching all routes. So in other words, no EIGRP routes will be redistributed into OSPF. So I need to remove that route map statement. This route map entry is permitting EIGRP routes into OSPF based on an access list. So if we have a look at access list two, it's matching this and this, which is this network and this network. That's correct. Those are the routes that we want advertised into OSPF from EIGRP. So hopefully that's fixed the problem. On router one show IP route, notice suddenly we've learned about an external route through OSPF and hopefully router one can ping router three, which it can. I'll turn off that debug. Can it ping 10122? Yes, it can. So we've resolved this problem. Show IP EIGRP topology shows us that OSPF routes are being redistributed into EIGRP. Show IP OSPF database shows us that EIGRP routes are being redistributed into OSPF. Notice type five external links are being redistributed. So I'm happy with that. We can do some last verifications. Can we ping various IP addresses in the network? Yes, we can. What about on router three? Previously, we couldn't ping 1.1.1.1, but now we can. That looks better. I've been able to resolve the issues in this network by fixing the redistribution of EIGRP into OSPF. So were you able to complete the lab? Did you get it working? It's important that you understand route redistribution for the CCMP exams.